Hello, my name is Dr. Rikushri Sengupta and I work as an assistant professor of English in Patrushar Mahavidyalaya, which is affiliated to Bakura University, West Bengal. The topic that has been given to us for uh, the seminar presentation is uh, the role of a teacher in a multicultural and a multi-ethnic society. Firstly, about this topic, which I found very interesting, I must say that the role of a teacher is very significant as far as a society is concerned. As we all know that human beings are social animals, so it is very important for every individual to build upon their social skills. And in that process of building one's personality, the role of a teacher is immense. Now that we live in a global world and where borders have become mere topographical features or mere geopolitical features, if I may say so, uh, in most of the educational institutions, multiple episodes and incidents have been recorded where varied ethnicities have caused problems, also where the diverse crowd or the diverse population has proved to be of immense help for the greater quality of the educational institution. And in both the cases, it is the teaching staff that has proved to be crucial. A teacher's role in this regard is so very important because a teacher is the leader of the class. And if the teacher wants, he or she can bind the class. Can, can help the class to believe in each other. If in a situation such as that happens in reality where a class is comprised of multiple kind of population or students from varied ethnicity, then the teacher has to take it as a very, very sensitive challenge because when students are coming from different families, different cultural backgrounds, they often find it difficult to adjust because it is a fact that differences cannot be eradicated totally. However, if, if one tries hard enough, it is possible to construct bridges of mm -hmm. love, affection, mutual respect, dignity, and of course, space. In terms of creating such a friendly environment, such a student-centric environment, a teacher can do the following things. One, he or she can inspire the students by becoming a living example of being an individual who does not promote or practice any kind of cultural discrimination. We must become the change that we want to see in our students. So the teacher has to become an example of such perfection. Secondly, celebrating occasions of regional importance can often harbor respect for other ethnicities can often help in students, you know, help in the intermingling of students. Then a teacher can also celebrate or through small occasions can commemorate birthdays of great men from all kinds of ethnicities. Such as if a child from Bengal is a part of the class, he or she may be asked to pay homage to Tagore on his birthday or other students may be asked to join him or her. And if the person is from Maharashtra, 
one can try to read Arun Kolatka's poetry on his birthday or uh, or, or other authors of different origin can, can be taken under consideration in this kind of things. Then through cultural events and uh, cultural celebrations, one can uh, develop a kindred uh, feeling among the students and uh, help them materialize their respect for other ethnicities. The problem with multicultural societies begin outside the class. Now one can identify the problem here as what happens to the student when they are not inside the class, when the teacher is not there to guide him or her or to mentor him or her. In such cases, we have to understand that just mentoring within the class is not our responsibility. We must equip them so that they can take care of themselves in situations outside the class. A child's personality, although starts developing in his or her own house, is modified when he or she is at school. But that modification stays and that modification is extremely crucial as it contributes towards his or her further shaping or his or her further activities or decisions. And, as I said before, in a global world, when we are every day dealing with multiple ethnicities, multiple cultures, it's very, very important to respect one's own culture and at the same time, pay the same respect to the culture of another person. Such mutual tolerance can only goad an individual towards future progress. It, it is a matter of great importance to develop such pragmatism and if we do not learn to evoke such warmth in ourselves, then we will all be headed towards a greater problem. To my understanding, the role of a teacher is not only to make a social being out of a child. The role of a teacher is to make a dignified, responsible social being out of a child who not only values his or her own ethnic culture, his or her own background, his or her own language, but takes equal patience and time in valuing other cultures in respecting others because as several great men have said before that we must hold each other's hand to make the earth a better place. If we do not learn to respect others then we will never be respected ourselves. In this regard the role of a teacher is very very crucial because as we know that educational system has its own set structure, so within a given period of time, the teacher must do his or her job. Within that time constraint, within that restricted frame of time, the teacher must succeed in developing the most wonderful values that one can find in a human being in an individual who celebrates not only his own culture but also the culture of the other person concerned. This is a noble job. It is not easy to inspire others. But in a situation such as this, the teacher gets an opportunity of a lifetime to create beautiful minds out of little children, out of teenagers, out of adolescents and push them towards, beco towards becoming wonderful global citizens.
who shape the future in the most beautiful manner. Thank you.